we are joined in the media center by your top fuel provisional number one qualifier, Brittany Force. Brittany ran a time tonight at ZMAX during Q2 of 3.690 at 334.24 miles per hour to put you in the provisional number one spot. Um, Brittany, after a nice run like that, does it kind of put some pep in your step here on Friday night? Absolutely. You know, to end qualifying with two solid runs, we picked up points and we're leaving currently number one, our Monster Energy team, HendrickCars.com. We're all very excited. We're very proud of that. John Purse Racing, we're all, we're all pumped. We all did pretty good today. What's your mindset for tomorrow? Uh, mindset for tomorrow is what it was coming into today. We want to do exactly what we accomplished today. We want to focus one round at a time. Uh, we want to pick up points where we can. And tomorrow's going to be conditions we're running, I think, at 1 and 3.30 or 1 and 4. So temp, track temp is going to be quite a bit different. Uh, and we got to figure that track out for tomorrow. Uh, I'm sorry, going into Sunday. So uh, tomorrow's going to be very important, more important than what we did tonight. It's going down, you know, a warmer racetrack and, you know, hopefully still staying number one and uh, putting some good numbers on the board. Did you and Grubnik have your conversation this evening? <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, we had a little chat. Uh, actually, before coming into the run, I haven't spoke to him yet. Uh, very, very briefly, he came in and grabbed a time slip and uh, patted me on the back and took off. So we'll, we'll talk in a little bit. But uh, we were right in our window, right where we wanted to run. I tried to look at the scoreboard when we flew by, but couldn't make it out. Uh, they came on the radio, couldn't make out anything they were saying. So I didn't know until we got to the top end, but I was pumped because I felt this was a killer run. I felt like it was good. Sometimes as a driver, you just feel it. And I knew it was good, and they said 69, and uh, I knew we were solid. Somebody said earlier in here today that like when you run well, it kind of gives you some swagger. Do you think do you have any swagger tonight? I don't want to push it that far. Okay. <laughs> With our season and where we've been, I don't want to get a big head over it. We want to just focus. Uh, you know, we're very you know proud of what we what we've done, what we've accomplished. You know, just tonight, but that's just day one here at Zmax. We have to do well tomorrow, and really we have to dominate on Sunday. That's where it really matters. I've seen you go low, low in Q1, have somebody else come back in Q2, kind of steal it away, and then come back, fire your shot. Seems a lot like 2022 all over again. Are you, are you feeling that internally? Is the team feeling that? Uh, we're always feeling that. You know, um, you know, just looking at um, our runs tonight, going in tomorrow, we want to we want to keep that number one. And uh, we saw people, you know, we saw some of the runs out ahead of us, and we did lose it, didn't we? Yeah. Current, yeah. I don't remember who it was. Duck, 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 one. Okay, I did see it on the board, so. Uh, I was sitting there, it was just like, ah, crap, you know, we, we lost it, but we're still sitting here. We still have a shot to chase it down. So uh, I felt confident again, talked to Grebnik. I knew what he was aiming for, and uh, Grebnik's pretty good. When he wants to push hard and try to put a number up, he usually can always pull that off. And we weren't playing scared. We were pushing. We had every, you know, chance to because we solidly were in the show. It's an 18-car field, and uh, we knew we were going to push, see what we could get away with, and we did. Bobby? I know you say you're taking it one round at a time, one race at a time, and just going a different direction of Phil's deal. Your teammate Robert Hyde won the championship from number 10. That has to be in the back of your mind whether you're thinking about it, right? Yeah, when I was actually here earlier, I, I spoke about that. So, um, you know, when the points, everything reset, and we barely made it in. We were 10, moved to number 9. So we're right there at the bottom. but. Points reset, so it's anybody's game. That's the great thing about this countdown. I've been on both ends of it. I've been, I, I've been on the the side where you know we were out ahead all season long, and I was on the other side of it where we just really did well in the countdown when it mattered. So I've been on both different different sides of it. Um, I my opinion changes on which way I like better are not depending on where we're currently at. So this year I'm all for the countdown, uh, the points resetting. But I forgot your initial question. I was getting towards it, and then I got lost. So just yeah. in the back of your mind, that has to be there, that ability to win from them. Yes. Two. Yeah, I mean, that's a great example looking at what Robert did that year. And our team that same year, we won from the number six position. And so it's anyone's game, and that's what's so great about it. Like I said, we came in number nine. It's it's not over yet, or they would have crowned who it was. And it's anyone's game still. It's anyone's shot. If we went out and won the next handful of races, we'd move right up there. So that's what we're banking on. That's what we're aiming for. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.